What's going on guys? My name is Hollow and thank you guys so much for tuning back into the channel. Today I want to show you guys something about Call of Duty Black Ops 3 multiplayer that's actually being changed. And this is all due to the wonderful bald-headed shiny head from David Vonderhaar. I love you man. You are the bomb.com, literally. Uh, so basically on multiplayer you guys know how we played search and destroy like I, I don't really play much search and destroy the last time I played search was probably maybe a few times in black ops 2 and this is something that's being changed in call of duty you know multiplayer in black ops 3 and it is something so insignificant but so important and so useful that it is absolutely mind blowing how simple this is and how crazy it is that nobody ever put it in the past you know it, it, it's absolutely mind blowing guys so According to David Von Hart over on his Twitter, guys, check this out. He put, check mark, make search and destroy better. Then he put a little image down below. And what does it basically tell you? You have two players from two different teams. You got the blue team and the red team, obviously, depending on the name of the team on, on the multiplayer. And then you have one alive and two alive. So what does this mean? So in search and destroy, the only way that you can see how many players are alive is basically if you look at the players in the lobby, like by pressing the back button or whatnot. And this image right here, it's 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 just so freaking funny how nobody's ever put this in the past. It's either going to be in the bottom left or right corner of the screen, I'm assuming, you know, and it says one alive. I'm sorry, that was my computer. It says one player alive and two players alive, depending on the team, blue team and red team. And this right here just makes everything so much easier for the other players, you know. Because sometimes you're playing Search and Destroy, you're caught in the moment, you want to make sure you're paying attention to everything, and you know, every single, oh my god. You want to make sure that you're paying attention to every single, like, corner, you know, you're very focused and you really don't know what's going on around you sometimes as, as much as, like, how many people are on the other team, you know. And this has happened to me a lot of times, guys, and I think that this is a drastic, drastic improvement and you know just the multiplayer aspect of call of duty black ops 3 especially in, in in search and destroy now it's something so simple but sometimes the simpler things in life are the best and i think that uh this is what black ops 3 is going to be bringing us it's going to be bringing minor adjustments along with new features and things like that and i, I definitely think this game is going to be one of the best call of duties of all time i know everybody says the same thing before every call of duty comes out but think about it when has david vonderhaar let us down never so i know this was actually a pretty short video but this is something that i really really wanted to share with you guys i think this is so cool man and and i'm really excited to actually play search and destroy now just because of this it's so much i don't know it, it just it soothes my heart how, how kind this bald man is to me and, and to the call of duty community i love it guys let me know down in the comments what you guys think about this easy to make simple feature to you know search and destroy for call of duty let me know down in the comments if you guys think this is a good, you know, a good, uh, a good improvement to Call of Duty uh, Black Ops 3 Search and Destroy. Again, if you guys are new to the channel, feel free to subscribe. If we can smash 250 likes on the video, guys, I would truly, truly appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I'll catch you guys later. If I can stop this aching, it's